logs were delivered to the sawmill by either truck, rail, or sometimes by water. The log mix that makes up the diet for most Canfor mills is a combination of species, namely SPF, or spruce pine fir. The logs arrive at the mill either in tree lengths up to 65 feet long, or cut to length in the forest to lengths between 8 and 24 feet. Cut to length logs can be fed straight into the sawmill and are often sorted by species and diameter in the bush to improve efficiencies at the mill and to meet machine size limitations. Tree length logs are cut to length on the log merchandiser based on the most valuable length established by the marketplace. This value may vary so parameters for these decisions must be continually updated. Once in the mill, a debarker removes the bark around the outer surface of the tree using a set of knives spinning around the log. Care was taken that the knives cut just deep enough to remove the bark, but not deep enough to damage the wood fiber underneath. Logs exit the debarker and enter a breakdown line which is a complex piece of equipment that turns a log into rough lumber. In the first step of the process, a laser optimizer scans the log diameter and shape. The optimizer determines which size of lumber to manufacture from each log so we can maximize the value of the log and make the most lumber, maximizing grade and recovery. The screen on the left shows the pieces of lumber that should be recovered from each log. Based on the scan information, a log turning system maneuvers each log to provide the best log orientation before it enters the first saw to help maximize grade and recovery. Each potential piece is given a dollar value as finished lumber. Length and width plus the potential grade for each piece determines the value. Being chosen for its appearance makes a top choice piece of lumber more valuable than a regular number two grade, so all the potential options are taken into consideration before the log is cut. At this stage, the log enters the first step of the breakdown process. Chipping heads flatten two sides of the log, then a set of circular or band saws cut up to two boards per side. These side boards are cut to the final two inch rough thickness and are transferred to the edger where they are sawn to the maximum final width and length. Meanwhile, the central part of the log is entering the gang edger which cuts the remaining cant or block of fiber into two inch thick boards using a bank or gang of saws. The saws are evenly spaced and have thin blades to reduce waste from the sawing process. The newest gang edgers use curved saw technology rather than traditional straight sawing. A curved saw has the ability to follow the natural curve of the log in order to improve lumber grade and recovery. Finally, the boards exit the gang edger and are dropped onto the transfer deck which will take them to the trimmer where they are cut to length at speeds of up to 200 boards per minute. A laser optimizer scans the board's thickness and width to determine the most valuable piece of lumber grade by length and width that can be produced. After the trimmer, the boards pass through a moisture meter which measures the average moisture content of the lumber. The boards are then sorted based on this moisture content and to help improve drying efficiencies. Canfor believes it is vitally important that the rough lumber be grouped on a consistent basis in order to reduce splitting, checking and warping as the lumber is being dried. In addition to the moisture content, Boards are sorted by length and width into a series of bins. Once a bin is filled to a predetermined number of pieces, the boards are transferred to a stacker where the boards are piled tier by tier to create one solid package. These packages of rough green lumber exit the mill and move on to the drying kilns. The stamp KDHT on each piece of lumber we produce for Lowe's means the wood has been kiln dried to a moisture content lower than 19% and remained in the kiln at temperatures hot enough to kill any insects that might be present in the wood. Lumber that has a moisture content of 19% or lower has less chance of developing mold or fungi. Furthermore, lumber that is dried correctly is stronger and more stable in all applications. Once the product is dried and dimensionally stable, the lumber can be loaded into the planer mill where it will be planed and trimmed to its final dimensions. A tilt hoist unloads the dried package row by row to create a solid piece of lumber for the planer. 
A series of rollers drives the wood through the planter at speeds of up to 2,000 feet per minute. The planer uses a set of knives to smooth the surface of the lumber and to finish the boards to the final thickness and width. The finished lumber exits the planer and enters the grading area. Each board is graded by both an Autolog laser grading optimizer and by an experienced lumber grader. Top choice pieces are identified and the grader or Autolog optimizer marks the boards which will then be trimmed to the desired length. The Autolog optimizer makes its decision based on the geometric shape of the board. Boards missing wood on the edges would not be identified as top choice lumber due to this wane present in the board. Wane is the absence of wood on the corners of a number two board which although may be strong enough for construction, it is not a level of appearance to make the top choice grade. The experienced grader grades the boards based only by their biological defects such as decay or stain, or the size of the knot. Only the best pieces make the top choice brand. The combination of the grader's expertise and the optimizer's accuracy ensures that top choice will consistently satisfy Lowe's discriminating customer. Once the product is graded, the board is cut to length in the trimmer. At this stage, the top choice UPC code is applied to the end of each piece of the highest grade lumber and are sorted to their own bin where they await being transferred to the stacking area. The stacked package is squared and banded with attached dunnage to ensure no damage occurs during the shipping process. Each piece of dunnage, or runner, attached to the unit is stamped with a certified heat-treated number, confirming that even the dunnage contains no harmful insects or fungal pests and can be shipped unimpeded around the globe. Finally, the banded package is wrapped in durable paper to protect the product during transportation and storage. The Top Choice Lumber Package receives an I-205 package label proudly displaying the Top Choice logo. It also contains a barcode identifying the length and dimension of the lumber, as well as a number of pieces contained in the package. Canfor understands that no other national retailer has more experience in lumber than Lowe's. Top Choice is Lowe's exclusive mark of quality lumber and Canfor is extremely proud to deliver Top Choice quality lumber which is square, straight, solid and strong.